Tonight, a mother is speaking out after her son was shot seven times and survived. Now he's clinging to life. Another man who was also shot did not survive. He died hours later. The double shooting happened Halloween afternoon in Bro Bridge in the 900 block of West Potan Street. And that's where we find News 10's Britt LaFaso, who spoke with the mother of the victim who is still fighting for his life. Britt. Hey, Darla, she says she just wants justice because her son and the man who died didn't deserve this. She says they were both standing on this street on Halloween when a vehicle pulled up and started shooting. She believes the bullets were not meant for either of them. They didn't care who was around. They just wanted that target. And whatever that target was or whoever that target was, they didn't care who wasn't around. You know, and my son didn't even know what was going on, had no clue. He was just there at the wrong place at the wrong time. Angelique Alexander got the call the afternoon of Halloween. I just seen an ambulance with blood all in the back of it. And they're telling my son got shot. Seven times. Her son, Jean Quaylen, was rushed into brain surgery after being shot in his neck, both hands and wrists, his chest, and his head. A day after he was shot, Jean Quaylen spent his 23rd birthday in the hospital on a ventilator, trying to understand what happened and why? Just watching a tear come down his eye. Unable to move or speak. Watching a bullet, bullet marks all over his face in the... The other man shot during the drive-by died hours after the shooting. He has not been identified. John Quillen's mom says she's grateful her son is somehow still alive. But who fired the shots is still a mystery. If y'all watching this, I just pray that God lay on your heart to come forward. Because my son didn't deserve this. He didn't. He's fighting for his life. And whoever did this, I just feel like they should pay for every, everything that they did. Everything. Sean Quaylen also had some of his fingers amputated because of his gunshot wounds. And he will need more surgeries. But he tells his mom what's keeping him fighting right now is his baby daughter, who will be born next month. He hopes he gets the chance to meet her. And Angelique hopes police catch the person responsible for this. Bridge is not big at all. Somebody seen something. Somebody know what happened. And I just want justice for my son, John Quillen. And I want closure for me as a mother. Because that could have been anybody, child. No one has been arrested or charged with any crimes in this incident. But Brobridge police saying they do have people of interest. Reporting live in Brobridge, Britt LaFasso, Caleb Wine, News 10.